Let's do it. Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome to my yard. Well, this is my oasis. So previously on this channel, I did what I would call a review on the uh, Suncast Sutton 7x7 tool shed. And during that video, I got so many comments about maybe I should do a video about my yard. And I was like, do a video about my yard? That's kind of silly, but hey, I kept getting comments. So sometimes you just get what you ask for. So welcome to my place, man. This is my paradise. So right now we're in my covered patio which houses the furniture this is going to be real awkward for me because i've never done like a a yard video before but yeah so this is the patio where we sit uh we're a three-person family so we only got three chairs out here the other one is i swear every time i come out to do a video outside nature gets it there's that airplane up there anyways three-person family three chairs that way i could scoop that table up a little bit more and we have the other one just waiting on standby but if you look over here this is where i come outside just to sit for a few minutes if i just want to get a little bit of a, um, you know just a little bit of outdoors and maybe have a drink or something like that without getting too involved in my yard just to go into some uh, specifics i do have two speakers up here on one of my channels i have a a speaker setup for my um for all my yard speakers because we do like music and there's music playing everywhere in the yard this is actually a cooler that i found at uh this is probably lowe's or home depot got it years ago and it just looked cool we we've only used it once in the course of like seven years all right and if you come over here this is like one of the newest additions uh to the patio sometimes when we eat dinner out here it's dinner time so the sun is uh, setting and it sets right in front of us and it's just casting sun and just heat right there and i'm sweating as i'm eating and stuff right so don't ask me how i built this you're gonna have to go on youtube just like i did and figure out how to build this but i will tell you what i use this is an outdoor rug this is like a um it's like a, a plastic or vinyl material that's actually supposed to be a rug and that's what this is right here and if you look way across there can you see that way across there that is a backdrop that backdrop that's a rug as well so when we get there we'll talk about that more but this right here this is nothing more than a row and shade that i created built it from a youtube video because i wanted the same uh type of material and i wanted to uh, have the same look as i did over there so you just pull it down and it blocks the sun and you can pull it down as much or as, as little as you want to and it works flawlessly and then you just anchor that bad boy right there and i'll come back to that and anchor it the right way later because right now i'm busy talking to you guys so where do we go next oh this is also built by suncast this is like a little mini bar thing right here from suncast let's see if anything's living in here <laughs> i keep this for when i'm doing a lot of cooking outside like breakfast or something like that i'll just roll the cart over and uh you know you can sit your stuff up on there too and if you come over here this is where we like to sit pretty much during the fall as well as winter time and this is like a you know just a little sitting area that i created to have a, a gas fire pit i'm more of a fire guy like i love fire but the problem with fire is when you when you actually make one maybe you don't want a full-fledged fire for like the whole like you know like hours on end so i had to go to gas man because then you can have a fire when you want to and you can just turn it off when you don't so that's why we have a gas fire pit here and it's pretty it's got the little glass right here a little dry i call it dragon glass <laughs> if the, shout out to all my game of thrones fan that's the dragon glass right there okay now we'll go ahead and get into some plants because people did ask me about the plants i wasn't going to look them up because i had no idea what they were i just knew i liked them and they were pretty and me and my wife agreed on what to get and where to plant them so I took the extra effort and figured out what they actually were. So let's look here. I took some screenshots. I, I used Google Glass that's, or Google Lens. So this right here, in this pot right here, this is a project that my wife has going on. This, these are called lantanas, okay? So that's what they are. Snails love them, by the way. So if you got snails in your yard, they're gonna love to eat your lantanas. And then over here, if you look at this, this is a croton, okay? They come in different species, but this is one species. Come over here by this fountain. That way you can see a bigger bloom of it. So that's a croton right there. And this right here next to it is a flax lily. And so if you kind of just scroll down the whole walkway here, to go over to the left, I'm sorry, the right, and then just kind of come down. You see how I planted them alternately? And you'll come across 
my uh my my peacock right there then you got them all over here by the fountain and stuff like that so as far as the first part of the landscape that's it that's kind of just right on the side of the patio behind me we have some potted plants more lanthanas right here then we got the uh, the majesty palm and a sago palm and a pot over there but if you come over here we planted some uh these are three different colors of what are these things called i forgot one of my favorite plants uh hibiscus that's what it is so we got three hibiscus here this is a like a i don't know like a deep deep purple one or something like that this one's pink right here then we got another flavor or color right here and these bloom kind of throughout the year as they're healthy or whatever but uh this is my grilling area so if you look on the ground let's let's take a step back back up a little bit go on back there man let me show you the entry to the grill okay so i've always liked to have like a, a grilling space or an island okay i don't need the big hut i don't need some big station you know some station uh with you know stones around it or nothing i'm kind of an old school backyard griller kind of dude or a smoker love smoking stuff i hardly ever use the gas pit side or gas grill side it's all about the smoke over here this was only for convenience but i wanted a walkway and i do live in texas and you know in texas everybody likes to Kind of point out that this is texas <laughs> so we found that somewhere it's probably like walmart or something like that but uh, you see we got the pebbles here and i opted not to do mulch in the backyard at all and there's there's a couple reasons for that uh the biggest reason is and we do it in the front because the front you know it's, it's for the hoa and all the people who pass by making the neighborhood look good but i noticed that when you have mulch no matter what color it is you always have some type of disease getting in your plants and your trees and stuff. And then you'll have different types of bugs and stuff burrowing into the mulch. So at some point we just kind of let the mulch just kind of wash away. And then I noticed that it was hard to keep the weeds out, right? But then I noticed that some of the weeds actually looked good with the landscape. And this is how I kind of came to that revelation. We went to Cancun a couple years back. It was for my 40th, 40th birthday, so it was a year ago. We went to Cancun and it looked a lot like this and that is truly what inspired the look of this backyard was that natural look of the resort we stayed at in cancun where they did have a few weeds there was not one speck of mulch on the whole resort but they did have a few weeds here and there but they all had the same types of plants we have so that's what kind of inspired this and then they had the same type of walkways so behind my glorious pit here come over here and smell it man you smell that hold on mm, got that soot going Mmm, yeah, that smells good, man. You know what? This is how you know, this is how you know you, you're a good barbecuer. If you can smell your pit and you don't even know if it's on or not because it smells good even when it ain't smoking. What? Anyways, over there we have some canna lilies. There's two different species over here. All different types of species of uh, canna lilies can grow. We just picked, uh, I think, two to three every once in a while we'll get a yellow one somewhere and i think we'll come up on one pretty soon here as we get to uh, talking about the rest of the yard but uh if you come over here this is a handmade homemade uh kind of just you know decoration piece by me and my wife i got an old palette i forgot what came on this palette but it's just an old palette that i painted up and did a nice fade job on it and then my wife came over and painted paradise on it because that's what this is to us this is our paradise so come over here uh, through the grass and walk through the walkway and once again you'll see there's not a speck of mulch here because i just don't like it anymore i wanted to keep everything pretty natural okay um right here what we have is a light is it a light or a lit let me look at my phone let me look at this picture to see if i got the right thing yeah oh i'm sorry it's not a light it's a t t t i t i it's poisonous for dogs so don't let your dogs eat this okay it says poisonous for dogs but this is a big one. These really do not need to be this big. Um, I should have just trimmed it early on, <laughs> but I just let this one get out of control. And there's some, there's a different species of croton down there. And then you see, I've kind of just alternated those as well with the, uh, the tea and the croton. But if you come over here, like I said, I have music going through the whole backyard. So I have four of these rock style speakers, okay? They're sitting there, the bugs love them, the, the birds love them, the geckos love them, because it looks like part of the, you know, part of nature. And right now, you're in what we would like to call Mini Punta Cana, okay? So this is like our little island escape into our backyard. And we're surrounded by these blood banana trees. That's what these are. These things can get massively huge, so you got to watch them. You need to trim them every year. 
at some point or they're going to be huge. These are more like a weed. You can't, it's, yeah, you could kill it, knock it over or whatever, but I guarantee you it will grow back and it will multiply because these all started from one stalk, but now they all have like bushels and they will get massive as you'll see with some of these. This is actually one of the bigger ones we have. And then we've outlined those with alternating majesty palms, as you can see there. Now I did the pavers here. And a lot of people ask me, like, how'd you do these pavers? How'd you do this stuff? Did you put down a foundation? What'd you do? But I didn't do anything special. What I did was I didn't even kill the grass. I, I just sprayed the grass that was here and I put these on top of it and let the rocks or the pavers kill the actual grass. <laughs> I was doing it the lazy way. And as far as leveling things, there is a little bit of sand here to kind of level things off, but that's how we got it. I did not want everything to be perfect. That is the that's one of my favorite things about this yard. Nothing is perfect. Everything just kind of, you know, it just kind of blends with nature and just kind of does its own thing. So I, I just wanted to keep a more natural aesthetic here. But even though you're in paradise, you do need modern comforts like electricity. So what I did was from my garage, I ran some, uh, some conduit around the fence and I wired up some electricity out here so we could, you know, plug up our phone chargers if we needed to. And it's hot as hell in Houston, so we got these fans right here. And I got these uh, triple outlets going right here so we can plug up the fans and have those going. And of course you need power for your, um, for your fountain because I wanted a water element. You know what, speaking of a water element, we're not pool people, okay? When I say that, if we were shopping for a house today and it said it had a pool, we would turn that house down. I do not want the responsibility of a pool. They're beautiful, but it's just not us, okay? But recently, uh, I really wanted a water element, like a big water element. So like a, a big fountain or a pond or something. But then I recently found out that they have these things called plunge pools. And it's more along the lines of what I would want. I want something that doesn't take up my whole landscape. Because most times pools will take up the whole landscape and then everything else is built around it. I want that pool to fit inside of my existing landscape, which would make it more like a, almost like a grotto of some sort. So right out there, if you can just kind of, I know this isn't going to look good on camera, but if you could just kind of imagine just stepping out here, you can stay there and I'll step out here. So right about now I'm in the grotto. Okay. It's just a, a tiny little pool, not a jacuzzi because jacuzzis are above ground. This is in ground and it doesn't have a bunch of concrete around it. It's just natural stones and it's very small and it's about maybe two, three feet deep where you can just kind of dip in there, get yourself cooled off and then go uh, come back over here and chill, you know, and have your drink or whatever. That's what we're looking at. So we're looking at getting some quotes for that just to have something small in between these two trees that fits inside of our existing landscape without having to completely transform our backyard into just some kind of concrete pool. I, mean, I don't know, it's, it teaches their own. This is my place, we do what we want, right? <laughs> okay, so now we have our lounge area right here. And this is another Suncast product. Uh, this is where we keep all our little pillows and stuff. But we have more canna lilies, and there they are. Uh, what else do we need to talk about? Got all these canna lilies over here. And you know, the thing about canna lilies, you have to plant them from a bulb, okay? But once you plant them and then they grow for that first time, you cut them and trim them back uh, basically to nothing over the winter time, but when they come back the next spring and summer, they're gonna multiply. All this right here, and even on the other side of the fence, came from about 24 bulbs. And they just come back and they multiply. They're just as, just as resilient as the, uh, the blood banana trees. So this is another one of those huge bu uh, blood bananas that I was talking about. This is actually, this is big to me, but if you go to like a resort or something, these, you'll see these things get massive. Like I'm serious, like tree size. These things get huge. I'm five foot 10 and this thing is, you know, it's standing up to where I am so far. So yeah, these things can get big. So definitely if you're going to plant some of these, you need to pay attention to them because they will take over your yard. Oh, there's one more thing. Come over here. So this um, pergola right here, I didn't even showcase this. So you can stand right there right now it's open okay i wanted this one because it was retractable because sometimes you want the sun sometimes you don't so right now we have no or sun coming in or whatever we got a lot of trees here but you know you're getting those sun rays coming in but sometimes you don't want no sun so you just pull this shade over and you block it out and like i said i use that outdoor rug as a backdrop because once that sun sets it will fry the back of your neck all right man so that's it you've had the tour of my backyard oasis or aka p 
paradise as the sign says right there but i gotta go man it's actually the middle of the day and i got more videos to make so y'all gotta get out of here so i get myself to work hey i'm no expert in anything but what i do know is how to relax in paradise hey y'all keep being good to each other and i'll see you when i see you